Hello, this is Daniel Place. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, I'm going to show you real quick how to install shaders with iris shaders, sodium and fabric. So we're going to be installing shaders for Minecraft 1.18. That's right, in this one, I'm going to show you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.18. And yes, it works with many shaders that also work for Minecraft 1.17.1. But I also made a actual separate video with the best shaders for Minecraft 1.18. And for those, you can be sure that, you know, I've tested all of them and they all work for 1.18. So what you can do is actually check out that video in the top right corner. Whilst you're at it, whilst you're actually using your mouse or touching your screen, be sure to also hit that thumbs up if you already enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well and last but not least there will be a link down below in the description with all the links to the shaders iris shaders sodium and fabric so to get started installing shaders for minecraft 1.18 what we are going to do is launch minecraft first because the first thing we need to do is actually launch minecraft 1.18 without any shaders any mods so we actually have 1.18 on our system so all you do is select latest release 1.18 and you click play. And then once you've made it to the main menu, you can just click quit game. Now the first thing we're going to need to do, there's a couple of steps to this, but the first thing we need to do is download and install Fabric Mod Loader. So to do that, open up your browser. You can use the link down below in the description to danielplace.net. There you'll find a summary of all the links you're going to need for this video, but you can also look it up yourself. So the first thing we're going to need is Fabric Mod Loader. You're going to go over to fabricmc.net you'll find yourself on this website and then you can click download here if you're on windows use this right one and then if you're on any other operating system use this left one you can also use this left one on windows by the way but this one is just way easier you click download installer it will download the installer you click it and it will open now because it is relatively new it may give you a pop-up and then you have to click more info and run anyway. So it will have selected 1.18 by default. And then it will also take this box that says create profile. You need that. And once it says ready to install, you just click install. It will take just a few seconds. And if you have both the Microsoft launcher and the old launcher, you have to select which one you're going to be using. So just click either one of those options here. I'm just using the old launcher still. So I don't get that choice, that option. So I just click OK here. You can close the installer. And the next thing we're going to do is download and install some mods. So if you Google Irish shaders, you can actually go to irishshaders.net or go to CurseForge. I like to go to CurseForge because it will always look the same for every tutorial. So you guys can get familiar with that. And with websites, of course, their design is different every time. So with this one, you can actually learn something from the tutorial and maybe you can do it yourself next time. So just scroll down to where it says Minecraft 1.18 click this download file icon, wait five seconds for the download to start. There we go, it's just downloaded the file and because it is a .jar file, you have to click keep. Now just leave that. Now we're gonna download Sodium. Just search for Sodium mod or use the link down below in the description. You'll find yourself on this Sodium CurseForge page once again, and you can scroll down to Minecraft 1.18. Do note that Sodium is still in an alpha version as of recording this video. It will get better soon, so there will be a beta and just a full release soon, I expect. But for now, you are going to use an alpha version. So if you find any bugs, don't go to the creators and the developers of these mods and complain because that is what alpha versions are supposed to do. But we can use them nonetheless, and I've tested this and it works. So just click the download file icon once again under 1.18. Once again, you have to wait five seconds and then the download will start. Once again, it is a .jar file, so you have to click keep. One more thing, because I get a lot of questions about this, on the Sodium page, it may still say 1.17.1 for a while, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist for 1.18. Just scroll down here and as you can see, there is a file under 1.18. It's just not been officially changed and updated to 1.18 on the CurseForge page. So the last thing we're going to do is actually download a shader pack. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a different shader. I'm going to use Oceano shaders because it looks good and it works well. So actually, this is very strange, but it says 1.16.4. And the shaders haven't been updated for a while, but for shader packs, it's not that big of a deal with some packs. Some packs actually crash with new versions, but a shader pack like Oceano Shader is still working just fine in 1.18. Of course, you can pick any other shader you want that is actually up to date with 1.18, but I thought I'd give you this one 
because it actually also works really well on older systems. So on this page, scroll down to 1.16 and just click download file. As you can see, they're all the same version for all Minecraft versions. So click download, wait five seconds, and there we go. The shader has just downloaded. Now what I'm gonna do is click show in folder. You can close your browser. And as you can see, these are the files we just downloaded, including the installer. I'm gonna remove that. You don't have to do that, but that'll just make it easier for the tutorial. We're gonna need to drag these files over to the .minecraft folder for them to actually be loaded into Minecraft. So in order to get to .minecraft, you go into your search bar, you type in percent app data percent, you hit enter, click the .minecraft folder. If you've never installed fabric or iris shaders or shaders in general before, you won't have a mods folder and you also won't have a shader packs folder. So what I'm gonna do first is right click, hover new and click folder. I'm gonna name this one mods lowercase. You have to name it mods lowercase. If you make a spelling error here, it will not work. So I'm gonna double click the mods folder and I'm gonna drag in sodium and iris. And now as you can see, we're in the mods folder, but now I'm gonna go back to dot Minecraft and we're back here again. And what I'm gonna do is right click once again, hover new and click folder and name this one shader packs lowercase. Now I'm gonna open the shader packs folder and drag in the Oceano shaders. And you can repeat this process with any other shader pack that works with 1.18. So now we can close both this window and this window. And now if you open up the Minecraft launcher and you make sure the preset in the bottom left corner is set to fabric loader. If it's not, just click this menu right here and it should show up in this list. Click fabric loader 1.18 and then click play. Now, if this is the first time playing your new fabric installation, then you'll get this pop up. And if you actually do understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft, you can tick this box and click play. So here we are in Minecraft 1.18. As you can clearly tell in the bottom left corner, it says Minecraft 1.18 slash fabric modded. If you go into options and video settings, you're going to see that a lot of things have changed. That's because of sodium. Sodium is going to give you this new video settings menu, but without Iris, you wouldn't have had this shader packs tab right here. So that's what we can click. Now we can click shader packs. And as you can see, here's the Oceano shaders. All you need to do to actually apply the shaders to Minecraft with fabric and sodium and iris is just click this, select apply and click done. And now you will be using Oceano shaders. Just click done right here, done again, hop into a single player world or a server for that matter and check out your new shaders. So as you can clearly tell from the world generation, this is Minecraft 1.18 with Oceano shaders and these are actually great shaders, by the way. They run very well, and they also add really nice, vibrant colors, in my opinion. But there we go. That's how you install shaders with iris shaders and sodium, and fabric for that matter, for Minecraft 1.18. So that's how you install shaders for Minecraft 1.18 using iris shaders, sodium, and fabric. If this video actually did help you out in installing shaders for Minecraft 1.18, be sure to give it a thumbs up, let me know down below that it worked. And then as always, I will, of course, Catch you in the next one. See ya.